Yeah, so uh, uh, these men up here are, are mainly responsible uh, for the national tournament that we had. Obviously, all the way to the right, Nick Falbin was, uh, was, a, was a freshman heavyweight uh, who wrestled extremely well uh, in Kansas City. Um, coming off of a, of, a, of a major injury, what he did is pretty phenomenal. Um, super excited to have him as one of our leaders. And then next to me is Rocco Welsh. Rocco has wrestled 174. He's now 204. Uh, he he uh, wrestled an incredible, incredible weekend as well. I mean, it is very rare when a freshman, a true freshman, is, is capable of, of, of competing for a national championship. So uh, I was super excited. Both these guys are Pennsylvania guys. And, and uh, uh, great to have them as Buckeyes. And, and then right here is a, is a Jesse Mendez, and who's a sophomore, true sophomore. Um, you know, typically in the sport of wrestling, more often than not, uh, you'll redshirt as a freshman. Uh, we chose to not redshirt Jesse because he wanted to get in there. Uh, as a true freshman, and he helped our team earn a trophy last year as a true freshman. So this year, as a, as a true sophomore, um, he did what's just very rare. There's 350,000 wrestlers in this country, and and uh, he wrestled incredibly well and won a national championship. Their points are really the the, 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 the lion's share of the points our team scored, and uh, just, just a great event for these three and the, and the program. And looking forward to the future, it's really exciting uh, when you've got men that lead like this and love the sport like they do and carry themselves like they do that are young. And he's got two more and they each have three more. So super excited about the future. Uh, yeah, Jesse, I mean, you both keep winning a national title and paying off what I know has been a goal for a long time. Yeah, I mean, this is a goal I set out at a young age. Me and my dad have been talking about this since I was seven years old. So um, to finally get it done, it's it's a feeling you can't describe. and. Um, I just I couldn't be more grateful for the people around me, the people that helped me get here, and um, I'm excited to do it two more years in a row. I forget if it was you I talked to, or maybe uh, Coach Jagger, or maybe Coach Ryan, but said, yeah, when, when you were coming in as a freshman, there was this feeling that you believed you could win a national title, even as a freshman coming in, and uh, you know, obviously didn't get to that level as a freshman, but over the last two years, how has that confidence, how have you built yourself to that level to win this? Yeah, I feel like it's one of those things, if you want to be a national champ, even if you're not the guy yet, you got to walk like you're that guy, you got to eat like you're that guy, and um, you got to talk like you're that guy. So first moment I stepped on campus, I said I was going to be a national champ, and if you don't if you don't act that way, you don't carry yourself like a national champ, you won't be. So um, ever since I was a kid, I've always had that that confidence I, I've had, and um, you know, you got to have it unless you don't want to be a champ, I guess. <laughs> Uh, for Coach Ryan, how have you seen Jesse uh, work to, to get to this level, and how has he elevated his game, even this year, you know, down the stretch to to finally surpass Bartlett in, in those last two matches as close as they were? Yeah, so Jesse, we have obviously this, there's uh, three other coaches, Coach Jaggers and Coach Steber work with work with Jesse uh, 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 every a couple mornings a week. They're in there. Um, so Jesse, I think. Despite his his cardiovascular capabilities, which are extremely high, uh, which ha they have to be extremely high, <clears throat> you, you know, uh, um, that's a critical component to being elite. Is you just if you get tired, you can deal with it. So the, the best way to do that is to get tired often in practice, and he does that. Um, his skill is really good. There's a number of ways he can beat you, and I think this weekend and we saw in each of his big matches. We saw him win with something different. I mean, his late match win was incredible. Uh, I, you don't see that often, uh, where you're in a pickle, then you're out of a pickle. Uh, um, so we just seen him progress in many ways. I mean, he loves the sport, wants to be great, and really comes in with a, with a heart to learn. Um, so it was no surprise uh, because of the way he works and the rate he works at that, that he'd have a chance to win. And, and listen, it's, it's, it's always, you know, often it's so, it's so tight. The difference between being first and second often is is so narrow. In this past weekend, I mean, he did some really amazing things to put himself in position to win the tournament, and it's not a surprise. He works incredibly hard. Yeah, and then for Rocco, I mean, you know, not many um, wrestlers in the country <coughs> sort of like that, as freshman, uh, right at the end of the year in that tournament. I mean, just did, how did you feel your confidence growing down the stretch of the season, and um, how did you capitalize on that? 
in the tournament. Um, yeah, like throughout the season, uh, you know, once I once I got my red shirt pulled, me and Tom were talking in the uh, weight room, and I remember I asked him, I was like, do you think I'm ready? And he was like, yeah, 100%. Like, there's no one more ready than you. So then after that, I was like, all right, you know, like my, my coach believes in me, so I just got to believe in myself. And then uh, I think like a week later, I, you know, I'd be like a top 20 kid from NC State. And like er ever since then, I just, you know, things just kept lining up and uh, was training good being good kids, so my confidence just kept growing. <clears throat> Jesse, just describe the emotions in that moment when you won a national title. Yeah, um, it's kind of hard to put into words because, I mean, I've never felt anything like that. I mean, I've won, I've wrestled on about every stage in the world. I've wrestled at world championships, I've wrestled at nationals as a kid. There's just nothing that, that kind of feels the way that does, especially in the fashion that I did it. And, um, you know, you just kind of look back and see all the hours you put in since I was eight years old. And, um, you know, it just feels good. You feel grateful. And, um, you know, just wanting to spend time with my family and my, my coaches. For Nick and Rocco, to see what Jesse did on Saturday, how does that motivate you, especially after the seasons, very successful seasons you guys have had? Um. Being with Jesse since he's been on campus our freshman year, uh, since June of what, 2022, uh, being around him has been so such a blessing, honestly, because I mean the work he puts in, the work ethic he does, um, it's it's incredible. Like it, it shows in his wrestling, it shows in how he lives his life, and being around him every day is motivating. Right? I I can always count on him to keep to keep pushing me, and um, I think I turned into a better leader and a better wrestler because of it. And I love seeing him achieve his goals, and it pushes me harder to achieve my goals, right? Because as proud as I am of him, right, I'm like, uh, he's the same age as me, so I should be accomplishing the same stuff he is, right? So like, he is so so incredible for me to, to keep pushing myself to next levels, and I'm, I'm blessed to have a guy like Jesse in the room with me every day. Uh, yeah, having, having Jesse as a, uh, as a teammate is probably the, the best thing for us because, uh, I mean, he's, he's so young. You know, he's only a true sophomore, but – like after practice and stuff, he's giving he's giving tips and uh, talking to us. Like I mean, he's like he's another coach, and like that's how, that's awesome to have a kid like sitting. You know, we all look up to him, and uh, it's kind of seeing him win a national title. Is just kind of is like, dang, we can all we can all do this. You know, if we just if we work like him, and uh, he definitely helps us work harder and stuff. Because no matter how hard you're working in the room, he's usually always working harder than you. So <laughs> always pushes us. For Tom, you know, going forward, uh, you have obviously these three that are up here right now. You have Zakas. You've got a lot. You know, this team was always young. And when you look towards, you know, maybe competing with the Penn State dynasty, maybe achieving bigger things as a team, how does this set you up for the future? I mean, we're we're in a great spot. I mean, you have a lot of points returning. I think I think more than than. Uh, I think what people don't see, I mean, obviously they're elite wrestlers, but these are really great men. Um, they're great examples. Uh, they set a really high standard. And all of them, I mean, I think for me, this is really important, is a really strong faith. I mean, they're, they're believers, right? They believe in something bigger than them. Um, and it shows in the way they carry themselves. Uh, so we're super excited about what's coming. Uh, as you said, there's some really good, we've got some really good guys at Red Shirt this year in the room. We've got some big recruits coming in. You know, there were a couple on our team that didn't perform the way they were capable of, um, but we're loving on them and, and a big off season, and we're excited about what's, what's, what's next for Ohio State wrestling. For, for Rocco and Nick, for both of you guys to you know already beat all Americans, what do you look at now? And what's the next step for you guys? How do you get to where you could be a national champion next year? First, you go. Um, yeah, I mean the next steps are definitely uh, probably I'm going to take a, a week break and then. Uh, get back in the room. Just, I need to get stronger, better conditioning, and my technique really needs to improve. You know, Bo Jordan always helps me, so uh, I'm just excited to get back in the room all summer and work on, try to get better on top, and uh, just really focus on getting to my attacks so I don't have to win three overtime matches next year at NCAAs. Yeah, Rocco and I were actually talking about it before this, <clears throat> how we've each written down, made a list of uh, the things that we really want to improve on. And for me, it's really cool seeing a level of maturity like that from Rocco, who's been here for less than a year. Right? It really motivates me to up myself as well. 
But uh, this offseason is going to be huge for, for us. I think we're going to make a lot of gains in the weight room and on the wrestling room. Just bigger, stronger, better, right? That's always the goal. So I think we're going to get a lot of, a lot of hours in the room and a lot of, a lot of min- meaningful time together, and it's going to be really incredible when we get on the mat next season. And Jesse, for you now that you have a national championship, like what's the next goal for you? Yeah, I mean, there's always something next. And, um, uh, we're looking at Olympic trials here in four weeks, so it's already back in the room today, and um, you know, just trying to keep getting better. And you know, there's always a bigger fish in the pond, so go uh, go make an Olympic team. How do you, how do you how confident do you feel in your chances to make the Olympic team? I uh, I actually like freestyle better, so it's I think I'm better at it. So I, I mean I'm pretty confident. I uh, I live the right lifestyle. I do the right things, and I'm surrounded by the right people. So I think the sky's the limit.